Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to another edition of Victory Insight. This is God in Action Publications. I'm Reverend Christopher Urban, founder, CEO, and president of this organization. Today, I've got a short message for you, but it's a powerful word I want you to remember. And I want you to be cognizant that there will always be the naysayers. There will always be haters. There will always be those debaters of what we cannot do. But know this, my brothers and sisters, we can do all things through Christ who is within us. I want to talk about deterrence today. I, I talked about it last week. I see that on the news, people are, the GOP is gathering up different ways of ensuring that people of races and colors are unable to get out and vote. But voting is such an important thing because it has helped preserve the freedom of our nation. So the message today is don't be deterred. Don't be deterred. Don't be deterred by this thing that we can't get out and we can't win. Look at Joseph. I love this book, this word in the first book. Joseph was a dreamer. He had a dream that he would rise above and he rose. But there were many roadblocks. There were many detours in his climb to success. There was his brothers. And when they saw him, they said, here comes the dreamer because he dreamed of how great he could be. He dreamed that his shape rose over the shapes of his brothers. We're continuing to rise as a country, as a people in America, but there are a lot of roadblocks. There are supremacy groups that are attempting to divide this country. United we stand, divided we fall. A lot of people in high places know that. So they're attempting to divide us so that we will not continue in our climb to greater heights. Look how far we have come as a nation, as a people of God in and around the world. We have climbed great heights, but we cannot be deterred by those things thrown at us to cause us to stumble and fall. One of those things is division. If they divide us, they will defeat us. But if we stay united, not united by just standing and being together, but united in our thought process, when I was a child, I thought as a child. As an adult, I think as an adult. There are a lot of minds that aren't focused on the realities of things that are going on in and around the world. We as a people of God need to stay focused on the realities. And if we do that, we won't be deterred. Now, even when we have detours, my brothers and sisters, there are signs that help us get back on the road to where we are going. Even with detours, there are ways that we get to where we are going. It may take a little longer. We may have to stand in those voting lines a little longer. We may have to prepare a little earlier. 
we may have to get out and talk to one another and make sure that each and every one gets out and votes. But if we do that, if we stay cognizant and focus on where we're going, we will get there even through the detours. Don't be deterred. The enemy defeats us when they deter us. But there's always God. If we are led by God, if we go down on our, our knees at night and we pray and ask God for guidance, ask God for guidance before we act, God will provide us with what we need to be successful. God will keep us from being deterred. Joseph, when his brothers finally met him and his dream came true, he could have smote them, threw them in prison. He had so many other things that he could have done to them, and they knew it. But what did Joseph say? Am I in the place of God? What you meant for evil, God made good to save many today. The enemy continues to seek to divide, deter, and defeat us. But we are more than overcomers. We are always victorious. Why? Because we lean not toward the ways of the world, but towards the ways of our Lord who art in heaven. If we continue to give him all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise, he will continue to direct our paths. Don't be deterred. Don't be deterred with all this hate. Don't be deterred with all of this lust for the things of the world. That's how we are defeated. But I've got news for the satanic forces in the world. We are more than overcomers. And we shall continue to overcome. Why? Because the battle is not ours. It's the Lord's. And we will continue to defeat our enemies. Because we are the children of God. We are great in the eyesight of God. We shall continue to overcome. We shall continue to win. We shall continue to be victorious. Pray with me right now. Father God, we come this morning, this afternoon, seeking that you continue to walk with us and talk with us when no one else is there. Father God, we ask that you continue to heal this nation. Someone within the sound of my voice has a cancer, a disease, something going on in their life, and they're seeking a way out. Father, we ask that you touch, that you heal, that you direct right now in the powerful name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. Someone has an affliction or an addiction. We ask that you release them right now in the powerful name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. Someone is trying to go somewhere in their life, Father, and satanic forces are seeking to deter them. We ask that you touch, that you heal, that you place them right back on the right course right now in the powerful name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. Father, we will always give you the honor, the glory, and the praise for you and you alone are worthy to be praised. Father, we thank you. We feel your healing power right now. We feel your delivering power right now. And we claim victory right now in the powerful name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. And together we as your people who are called by your name, who are not deterred, claim it with an amen, amen, and amen. I pray you prayed that prayer with me. Remember, we are are not deterred. Don't be deterred. Know that. Claim that. And until next time, keep the victory.
in zij.